born in Montmartre, which is about 100 kilometers east of Regina. I was born uh, before the war, and of course, times were pretty rough then. I come from a family of 10, and we grew up uh, trying to entertain ourselves. Not too much to do, except maybe uh, play pool and maybe uh, hunt for robin's eggs or crow's eggs or, or uh, go for tails, and for which we got one penny a piece, which was meant quite a bit to us. My parents, they were a great example of putting effort into the work and doing humbly and, and as, as best as you could do it. So they were my inspiration at the time. And of course, uh, my mother helped me to listen and uh, conduct myself reasonably well before uh, I left for the services. In February 45, went overseas to wait to possibly go to the, to the front on the continent. I don't think very many people are positive about going to war, but if you need be, if you have to, you of course you go. I, like most Canadians, felt they should contribute towards the war effort, and this is why we did it. I admired Winston Churchill, the the way he spoke and led the people, and I uh, wish I had the command of the language like he had. My wife's name was Catherine. She was registered nurse at the Regina Gray Nuns at the time. Her co-workers called her Kitty because in mild spirits, she was always very pleasant and jolly. I was a member of the Holy Rosary uh, Church Choir and so was she. One particular play, when I was on the stage and Catherine was out in the audience, and I guess she liked the looks of my legs from out there, and then, and so she said later on, that's one of the things that got me to get to, to want to know you. And uh, that's how we met. She passed away at age 70, which I, at the time I thought was too, too, too early. Kitty and I, we had a lot of fond memories, but the fondest ones, of course, were when our two children were born. It was so wonderful to see the new life coming into four. I would like people to know me by, hopefully, my honesty. And I try not to criticize people, though that is difficult to do at times. We are all different, so sometimes it's, it is pretty hard to uh, speak with people. At one time, I did not have that much patience. But I've learned over the years that uh, things don't always go the way you'd like to see them. You have to have patience. It's a matter of being kind to people and, and be considerate of what they say and understand them as best as I can. It's up to me to try and make my day as best as possible. <laughs>